it's your girl Anabea and I'm back at it again with another vlog before we get started please excuse my voice today is like day three of me having like this sinus infection or whatever it is that's going on with me um today is not that bad yesterday dripping day before yesterday dripping like it was a whole mess and like I woke up this morning like God Lord Jesus please because it's insane like the sinus issues that I have are crazy so I may so make sure y'all like comment subscribe all that good stuff um y'all I've been going for a while I tend to do this from time to time like I'll be consistent consistent misconsistency and then I just go ghost but y'all I've been freaking depressed depressed as hell like I heard of postpartum depression but is there such thing as prepartum depression so just a quick little update with my pregnancy y'all I'm having like the most smoothest pregnancy probably known to me like in the beginning, I used to forget that I was even pregnant because I don't have any morning sickness. Um, really no cravings. The only craving that I had was a craving for tomato sauce. And ravioli had me in a chokehold. I haven't eaten ravioli since I was a kid. And suddenly, I just got this urge like, bitch, you need to go to the store, get some ravioli. Because you need it. I don't know. But basically, that was the only craving I had. But it wasn't like a crazy craving. Like, <clears throat> I had to have it every day. But other than that small thing, I didn't really have many symptoms. You know what I'm saying? But I've been going to my um, doctor visits. Uh, I had my last ultrasound. Not this month, but last month. And he told me, like, you won't get another one until you're, like, 30 weeks. So, right now, I'm currently 26 weeks and 3 days. So, I have, like... 13 and some change weeks left um i'm excited nervous af because i don't want to push my baby out of my vag and i also don't want to get cut like is there another way because i i'm nervous y'all i'm nervous i'm scared but y'all i'm ready i'm super excited to see my baby um her movements are so strong i feel them a lot at night when i'm in my resting state like whenever I'm just laying down watching TV or YouTube or whatever it is that I'm doing at nighttime. Um, that's what I feel her the most. And it is the most rewarding feeling ever. Like although I'm ready to see her, like I'm ready for her to be out of my body. The way that I feel when I feel my baby move is like I've never felt so much love for something or someone that I've never met before. Like, I don't know her. <laughs> she don't know me. Well, she probably know me more than I know her. But it's crazy. Like, being pregnant, I never I never experienced pregnancy before. I've never been pregnant at all. This is my first time ever. So, the feeling is like no other. It's beautiful. It's amazing. You know, once you get past the whole shock, the surprise, like, what the fuck? I'm pregnant? <laughs> once you get past all that, it's so rewarding. I love being pregnant. So yeah, um, I was actually supposed to do a whole gender reveal and everything, but that didn't happen, which I'm okay with it. I mean, I wasn't really pressed about having like gender reveals and all that and baby showers and stuff. I'm just like, I'm gonna do my registry and if y'all want to send something, y'all can do it like that. But since it's my first baby, I feel like I absolutely have to have a baby shower but I don't know how I'm gonna do that because all my family lives in Louisiana and then I have friends here and family here so it'll probably be done here in Houston and like whoever wants to travel they can but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be something like super small and intimate like I'm not I'm not that girl I at least I probably am that girl but I feel like I'm not that girl because <sighs> pregnancy has been stressful like oh we have a visitor. A visitor? Hello. Hello. Wait, is it working? Oh, crap. Y'all, I couldn't figure out how to work my Zoom, but basically I said all that to say is that we're having a girl. So, um, if I was having a boy, his name would have been Caleb. Probably Caleb Kai. But, um, I'm having a girl. 
So I went through the name Kylie. No, Kylie. I really wanted to name my daughter Kylie, but I'm going to name her Kelly. Starts with a K. K A L I because my name starts with a K. Um, in case y'all didn't know, my name is Kiana. That's where the Anna comes from. But yeah, anyway, her name is going to be Kelly. Most likely Kelly Amore. Love, love, love that name. But um, yeah. I be losing my train of thought sometimes, y'all. But um, being pregnant, I said it was stressful. I feel like I was more stressed and depressed because. I just thought that I was going to be married or at least on the road to being married before I got pregnant and I ended up getting pregnant before I got married and in the, in the beginning of the year I manifested a husband but I ended up with a baby so I don't know the universe God, you know they got something going on they said, look, I feel like she need a baby more than a man. So we just, we just going with that. But, um, yeah, that's, I feel like that's most of the reason why I'm like sad. Because me and her dad, were not together. Um, yeah, we're not together. And it makes me sad. Like, <clears throat> it used to make me like really just sad and emotional and stuff. But now... I'm on this it is what it is type of situation that's why I'm feeling better like here we are feel good um does it bother me sometimes still of course but I have a baby coming I feel like once my baby's here I ain't gonna give a damn about none of that none of that but yeah basically the first half of my pregnancy was like really hard I'm six months in and just like a few weeks ago I really started feeling like better back to myself because I was like really depressed because I'm like why do I have to be pregnant alone nobody should be pregnant and alone like yes I have my family and friends but you want the person that you pro is it procreated recreated whatever with to be with you at least that's what I thought was supposed to happen but it didn't happen for me so if anything this was a huge lesson for me. Don't do that again. Like, my baby is a huge blessing to me. If ain't nobody else happy, I'm ecstatic about it. But don't do that again. Do not. No. Never. You will never catch me doing this again. Ever. <sighs> but, yeah. um, It took a long time for me to actually come out and talk about it. Because I talk to my friends about it all the time. But I was like... <sighs> I think I'm going to talk to YouTube about it. Well, my YouTube family about it. Because this is real. Like, this is stuff that people deal with on a regular. Maybe <clears throat> they feel like they don't have nobody to talk to. Or nobody. Because I know when I was feeling the way that I was feeling, I felt like I was the only one in the whole entire world that has dealt or is dealing with this. I felt alone literally alone so it might make somebody feel better as like okay i'm not alone you know people go through stuff because that wasn't my my train of thought that wasn't my state of mind at the time i'm just like man i feel like this is happening to me like why me i can't believe this is happening to me like what did i do to deserve this but it's okay like you're not alone you're gonna get through it um a lot of things in life are a lesson and I definitely feel like this was a huge lesson for me. It's like, bitch, you, you can't be out here being reckless like that. So that was my biggest takeaway from this whole experience. And I have so much faith that everything is going to work out. Everything is going to be what it's supposed to be, especially once my baby gets here. So I'm not stressed about the situation at all anymore. But yeah, so we're good. And I feel like I was also like in a little funk because I gained weight. Y'all, I was I was getting fine. I hadn't got down to 206. And I'm 5'7. And I feel like that was a good weight for me. Like if I would have lost like 10, 15 more pounds, I'd have been good with that. But right at like 200, 199, I feel like I look good. Still thick still you know fine whatever whatever but I gained like 
30 pounds. That's a lot. Still got three months left. But, but when I, I noticed that I gained so much weight uh, last month. So I was just like, damn, I done gained 30 pounds and I'm only, what, five months? I don't think I was five months at the time. So I was like, look, you need to start counting your calories again. Like, not really diet while you're pregnant, obviously, but take more precaution what you're putting in your body. And I noticed I was eating a lot of fast food and that fast food ain't no good, period. Like... I, I gained so much weight eating like just fast food or whatever. So basically I slowed down. No fast food. I think I had fast food twice. I think I had like McDonald's one time, pizza one time. And I gained one pound at my next appointment. Cause every other appointment it was like five pounds, seven pounds, six pounds. No, this is not what we gonna do the whole pregnancy No, I don't wanna have to lose a hundred pounds once I drive my baby, no. So this month, um, last month I gained one pound. This month, my weight is like the same. I think whenever I got on the scale this morning, I was like one pound heavier, but it's pretty much like the same or whatever. Yeah, so other than that, <clears throat> you know, I still feel like I look good, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all my body. I'm gonna show y'all my baby bump or whatever, my bump, cause it's not much of a bump. If you didn't know, I did have plastic surgery back in October 2020. I had um, tummy tuck, lipo, BBL, and chin lipo, but my chin still, chin still chinning. I don't, I don't think it's, it worked. But anyway, so being that I had the tummy tuck and everything, my tummy is really small. Like people don't believe me when I say I'm six months pregnant. Like I'm gonna be seven months in what two weeks. So yeah. Um, most of the women who have tummy tucks that I've seen in this group that I'm in on Facebook, they have like really small tummies. Some of them, they have really big tummies, but the shake back is real. It's like crazy. So yeah, let me show y'all my body right quick. Okay, y'all. So excuse the background, washing my sheets. This is front profile, side profile. Stomach is not stomaching, period. Like, you could kind of see, like, it's starting to get more, more round, but it's not, you know. Let me show y'all a more detailed view, okay? Okay, so I wish I had more light, but anyway, this is my stomach from the front, stomach from the side. You, <laughs> you could kind of see it a little bit. But yeah, that's what we're giving. Sorry for being nude. For the people that didn't want to see all this sexy and stuff. I'm just playing. But yeah, anyway, this is it. This is that's what we're giving. Six months. So we're going to be headed out in a bit. But before we leave, I really want to show y'all like, ooh. I really want to show y'all the little clothing that I got for my baby. So, I bought her this. Yes. This is so freaking cute. Um, I'm not going to show you everything. But, I'm just like, let me just say, I'm so blessed and grateful to have people in my life that care about me and my baby. Because, they already like buying stuff for my baby. Like... My Claire Bear, he bought this for her. He bought her some other stuff. Um, let me see. Oh, he bought her a robe. So cute. And I didn't know it had like this elephant on the back. Oh my god, it's so cute. Uh, let's see what else. I bought her this. This is three months though, so she's gonna wear this like in a few months after she's born. And then I got this outfit right here. I think this is the outfit that I want to take her home in. Got this from Wally World. Uh, it comes with some little foot socks. Cloth socks. I don't know what it's called. And a hat. She's going to be here in December. So I can imagine it's going to be like a little chilly. So yeah. But let me get out of the closet. So yeah. Um, I'm going to take you guys with me. I really want to go look at strollers. 
I think I found the stroller that I want, but I still want to go out and look at strollers. So that's what I'm about to go do. Y'all, so we just getting up in the whip and I just hit my damn knee so hard because sharp people want to drive my car, like people under five foot. My auntie, she drove my car and she did not put my thing back to where the hell it was supposed to be. And I hit my knee trying to get up in this car. But anyway, y'all. So I have to go back to the store because I bought this right here and it's flipped upside down because it has like a hole somewhere. I'm not sure. But it has a hole and it was leaking. Like upset me because my hands was all sticky and stuff. So I'm going back so I can uh exchange it or whatever. Then we're gonna go look at strollers. These days, I get out of the car like an old ass lady. I just need a bigger car. I have such a small car. It's a Toyota Corolla. I need a big body, something, something that sits high because it's getting hard to get out of the car. Y'all, I don't know if y'all know, but freaking parking garages creep me out. So I'm at Dillard's. I didn't even, I've never been to this Dillard's. I've been to this Dillard's, Dillard's one time, uh, maybe a week ago. But, um, Gail, I'm just trying to figure out why is it not connected to the rest of the Galleria. But I guess they have their reasons. We're getting on the elevator and I think it's on the fourth floor. That's where they keep the strollers. So, yeah. So, these are the strollers. Um, they have the, is it Donna? Donda? They have the Luna, and then they have the Vista one. <sighs> Excuse me. So, at first I was really interested in the Vista. But the cost and everything. Oh, up a baby. So Vista up a baby. I think they like the same thing. I'm not sure. I didn't work with each other. But the cost. I'm just like, okay. Yeah, you're doing too much. But this one right here. This is the one that I really, really, really want. This is the Nuna. Um, comes with the baby stroller. The baby stroller is this part right here. And then the car seat is like a pretty decent, nice size car seat. And the stroller part does not come unattached, only this. So this is a stroller that I really, really want. I really, at first I really wanted this one because it's like basically the wheels come up and it's a car seat. So it's pretty easy to use, but then I didn't want it because um, it's small. Look how small it is. And look at this one. And look at that one. This one is gonna last like years and years. I really feel like this car seat is gonna last. I feel like this car seat part right here is gonna last like over a year until she's ready to transition into her big girl car seat. But this stroller is gonna last like forever. It's gonna last for my future kids and everything as well. And this one right here, uh, it's a Luna as well, but this one just comes with this. So you get a more better ribbing for your buck if you do this one right here. And I think this is the travel, the TBRL one. Yeah, so hopefully I could get this one. This is the one that I really, really, really want. Y'all, look at these cute little shoes. She's definitely probably gonna get a pair. So they're fifty-five dollars. Let me see. Oh my god! Look, she's gonna get a pair of these for a show. She needs a pair of these. Look how cute! I have to take a picture and send it to someone. Y'all, yeah, I just, I just, I don't know. It's like a bitch can't catch a break. I don't know what's going on. My car don't want to start. Like. I just got out of you, just came back less than 20 minutes. Why are you not starting? 
Oh, Jesus, I'm telling you. When it rain and pour, it's annoying as hell. I'm trying to stay in good spirits. I really am. But man, I'm ready for things to start going right. Like when things gonna start going right, they love to go in a downward spiral. When they gonna come up in the spiral. Hey y'all, so I done made it home. My car is ghetto. Why is she gonna be ghetto? She's very ghetto. So I let her sit for a little while, like 10, 15 minutes, and she turned right back on. I'm just like, what's wrong with you? Bipolar, what the hell? But anyway, whew, out of breath. So I'm home. Uh, I've eaten. Uh, I'm chilling in the bed right now. I'm just going over some interview prep right now because I do have an interview tomorrow. Super duper excited. I'm so excited for this interview tomorrow. It's with like a really big company. Uh, so yeah, and I just feel like this job is for me. Like usually I get real nervous for interviews, but I'm not nervous. I just feel like let's get let's get it. Let's get it over with. So you can send me my offer letter and I can accept it and we can start this thing. But yeah. I just feel like the job is for me um yeah so that's pretty much what i'm gonna be doing for the rest of the night just interview prep um and that's it so i'll pick you guys back up tomorrow hey y'all so welcome to the next day Whew. i just finished my interview with this company and i think i did really good feel like this job is definitely my job it belongs to me <sighs> my heart is still beating crazy fast like oh my god what oh <sighs> I feel like I was on trial like I haven't had an interview in so long <sighs> lord but I really feel like this job is for me this is my job it's my job it's my job and that's it that's it period Hey y'all, so I didn't vlog it all today because I didn't do anything, literally. The only thing that I did today was go get Marley from school. Uh, we just getting back home from Wendy's, had me a little faux for faux. And shame on me because I wasn't even hungry, like I was not hungry at all. But I have this thing going where if I see other people eating, or other people going to get fast food, I have to get something too. I'm going to feel like I'm doing myself a disservice if I don't get anything. That's my toxic trait. I need to get over that. But, yeah, um, I'm sitting here watching <clears throat> Chelsea Janae on YouTube. So, her and Gina Janine are, like, the reasons why I'm back vlogging. I'm just like, oh, my God. I feel like whenever I watch other people's vlogs, it makes me feel like I'm not doing what i really want to do because i'm not vlogging like i feel so happy and so good whenever i vlog and whenever i don't i feel like i'm not doing anything with my life like i'm not doing what i'm supposed to be doing so here we are here we are so today i didn't do anything but i just wanted to check in um yeah tomorrow's friday and my friend wants to do something, but we don't know what we want to do. So tomorrow shall be like more eventful. Oh my god. Y'all, so we're at the HEB. Um, we have the HEB. I'm about to go get a few things. It is like 1.30 and I still have not eaten breakfast because I don't have the things that I need, so I'm like, let me get up and go to the store. So yeah, we're about to go. So the first thing we're gonna get is some, oops, this is my wig, just, what is the word? It just renewed or whatever. So I'm gonna get some cherries. I don't need a ton of cherries because last time I just let them go bad. So, I think I'm going to get this bag of cherries. Um, last time these grapes were on sale like two for five dollars, but not a six dollars for one. Like, yeah, so we're going to get a little thing of grapes. I don't have a bad habit of letting my um, 
fruits go bad anyway. So now, so usually pre-cut um, fruits and vegetables are not on wick, but these are, and they are so good. So I got me some spinach and some strawberries. Now I'm about to grab me some pears, y'all. I haven't had a pear in forever. Then I had one like uh, last week and it was so freaking good. So we about to grab a couple of pears. Y'all, it smell musty as hell right here. I don't know who must have lived. But this block of sharp cheddar cheese is so fucking, oh. Oh, let me sign it over. This block of sharp cheddar cheese that they let me get is so good. I just love sharp cheddar cheese. And I need some bread. So a lot of people do not like wheat bread. I'm the only one in the, in the house that like wheat bread. So, boom. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna get the cereal while I'm here. So, on my week, they let me get, what is it, 36 ounces of cereal. And I always get this. This like the best week cereal ever. Ever, I ain't lying. Like I could eat it just even if it wasn't on week. So I'm gonna get that. And I really wanna get some golden grams. Like, one day I was craving golden grams. Not cinnamon toast crunch, none of that. I wanted golden grams and I don't see it. Hopefully they have it in here because I need, I need it. I found a golden gram. <laughs> I found it. I'm so happy. This probably, look, besides my other breakfast or brunch, you could say, that I'm gonna eat when I get home. I'm gonna have me a little bowl of golden grams because I have been wanting that too bad. Oh yeah, um, I gotta go back down this aisle because I forgot to get some tortillas because me and Marley, we might just have, what is it called? Ooh, corn tortillas, y'all. Corn tortillas are the best tortillas. Like if you ever go to the taco truck out here, I always get corn tortillas because it has that extra flavor. I feel like flour tortillas, it tastes like flour. Corn tortillas, the yellow ones, them, them good. Street tacos, look. Uh, so I'm just little corn tortilla street tacos. Ooh, too. I need some more cheese. Gotta have the sharp cheddar cheese. Gotta have the sharp cheddar cheese. I just love sharp cheddar cheese. It's so freaking good. It has that like, that edge on it. If you know what I'm talking about. Y'all, I'm legit looking all over the place for this holy guacamole. So this is my favorite guacamole. Why they got it in the middle of all this meat? I done walked around this store twice looking for it. I'm like, I know it's here. And it was right there by all the meat. Hmm. But thank God for my lids, cause I whole almost forgot the guacamole, and that is the main, the main thing that I came here for. So yeah, one thing about me, I'm gonna have a list. Am I gonna look at it? That's that's the question. Shout out to H E B for having the samples. Yeah, so you get to have a little snack while you shop. So this is spinach artichoke with bacon. It's a little hot, so let me try it. It's pretty good. Mm. Need a little salt. It's good. It's all right. Y'all, I made it home. I'm about to. Well, I already got the breakfast. Hold on, I got somebody playing in my ear. Okay, so I done made it home. I already got my breakfast going, but I'm about to have a couple of these golden grams because, man, I really been feeling like I need golden grams 
like cinnamon toast crunch will not do it i need golden girl so i just fix like a little little bit because i'm about to eat a whole breakfast i just want to eat some then i have my unsweetened vanilla almond milk put a little bit of that up in there and boom and boom this is like the littlest bit of cereal ever but i just wanted i just wanted to taste it for real it's so good mm. see that's the taste i was looking for i can't explain the taste of go it do taste like a graham cracker duh golden ground but it's so good Whew. So I'm about to sit here and eat my little brunch that I made. I have spinach, well eggs, spinach and cheese, uh, two Jimmy Dean sausage patties and my holy guacamole. I literally eat the same breakfast every single day. It's no question about what I'm gonna eat. Cause I eat the same thing every day, every single day. But uh, yeah, it is now 2.42. So I'm about to like devour this right quick. Because I have to leave out again to go get Marley. Because she is out at 3. So, 10 minutes. Then I need to be up out of here. I really just got to show y'all how ignorant it is to pick up Marley from school. So, they got two lines. And then on that side, they have... Oh, it's crazy! It's crazy. I freaking hate it. And it takes forever to pick her up. And people be having the nerve to be blowing at me. Like, not just me, they just be blowing the horn like, dude, we can't go nowhere. Like, calm, calm down, fucking it. Y'all, yeah, I was just talking crap and my package came. So, I ordered this week. Uh, let's see. Damn, I should have had some scissors or something. black bag so this wig came from silk wave i'll leave the description i mean the description the link in the description and it just came with some more of these i really needed some more of these anyway because i'd be blowing through them and this is the wig so i wanted something curly oh um, okay okay so this is the wig Something curl, something curly. I forgot. I think this was what twenty six inches. Of course, it doesn't look like twenty six inches because it is curly. But hey, <laughs> I'm excited. I don't think have I ever had a curly wig. I'm not sure. The knots. Uh, yeah, I might have to bleach the knots, but that won't happen until tomorrow because it's six o'clock right now. And uh, I'm going out to Pray Houston tonight. Oh my God. I'm going out to Pray Houston tonight and I'm so excited. I've never been there, but it looks freaking beautiful. So yeah, we're not going to like 9.30. That's when the reservation is. But yeah, I'm excited about that. But just wanted to show all this wig. Oh, and something else. Like I apparently I don't have the Poshmark app downloaded on my phone i just been going to it on safari and somebody ordered something for me from me and i didn't even know so shout out to me selling stuff on poshmark i'm going to put my poshmark description down below as well just so y'all can see what i have i already just have some more of my led mirrors some um magnetic lashes and i'm thinking about selling my louis bag this Louis bag right here. I'm thinking about selling it, but I don't know. Every day I contemplate like, should I take it off Poshmark? Should I leave it on Poshmark? I don't know. So we'll see, but I'll leave my Poshmark down below.
y'all. So me and Marley are in Dillard's right now in Memorial City Mall. And I think the movie theater is up in here somewhere in the mall. So yeah, we gotta ask somebody. So we parked in the parking garage, which is why we ended up in Dillard's. So the movie theater is way on the other side, basically. We got to pass the full court and then yeah, we should be there. Thankfully, this is not like a super huge mall. So it's not like a crazy far walk. Yay, we found it. <laughs> Almost fell myself. Y'all, that is freaking crazy. So apparently today is $3 movie day. I just paid $6 for our tickets. And she said like it's a national or international movie day thing that they're starting $3 for movies on just today. That's crazy. Lucky me, so I'm glad I picked today because we save a little coin. What does the small look like for popcorn? Okay, can I get two smalls? Two smalls, anything else? Uh, what do you want to drink? Okay, let me get two ices in. Uh, what size is small? The small one. Anything else? Uh, that'll be it. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Uh, I want the blue and whatever. Which icy do you want? Which icy do you want? They have the Coke. Cherry, the blue one, Coke. and the green one. Coke. 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 Yeah. Y'all, this is so. And actually, this is so good. One. We actually got like last weekend. Wow. So all this is so. Well, these are bathrooms, but this is so. We actually skipped um, the dinner we were supposed to have after the movie. We're just going to go to the movies tomorrow. I mean the movies. We're just going to go to dinner tomorrow after church. Yeah, I'm like, I'm tired. I'm so sleepy right now. And plus, I really wanted to bleach the knots on my wig, which is doing it right now. So next time you see me, uh, will I have on a new wig? I should have on the new wig. I think I might put it on tonight. I'm not sure. But anyway, got my night going on. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I do have to cook, though. So, yeah, I'll probably in for the night. Um, it's only 6 o'clock, so I think I'm going to cook, watch TV, and just chill, do my hair. And that's pretty much it for the rest of the vlog. So, thank you guys so much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.